You know why? Because I don't interfere with your life like you try to interfere with everybody else. Well, else's. you, you abuse that? animals through your lifestyle. That's all I want to tell you. You abuse animals through your lifestyle. We're just teaching people that fish feel, actually feel pain and don't want to die today. So I thought you might want to know. None of us want to die. Yeah. So we shouldn't kill anyone, should we? Oh, somebody's got to eat it, otherwise you, a lot of people survive on fish, they can't help themselves. Yeah, but what about you, can you survive without fish? I don't eat fish very often, but I catch tropical fish for my aquarium. Oh, and you keep them in the little aquarium prison? Yeah, no, well, not a prison at all, because those ones come down in the warm currents when they... Oh, so they, you're, you're rescuing them, you mean? Well, they die otherwise. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a different situation. Because they come down in the warm currents in summer, and then when winter comes, the water gets cold, they can't survive. They get eaten by the fish. You never see an adult one ever. So you have to look up. You're, you're basically rescuing these fish and offering them a sanctuary. Yeah, people don't yeah. see it that way, but that, if you left them there, they'd get eaten. So. They get a, okay. But like, so if I come into your fish tank, I like doing these hypothetical philosophy sort yeah. of things. If I come into your fish tank and stab them up, tortured them a little bit, and then put them on my plate and ate them, would you think I was a bit of a psychopath? Well, I think you were because they're only about that big, so he's <laughs> pretty hungry up there. Yeah, maybe I could make a kebab. But you like those fish. You, you appreciate these, those fish oh, yeah, in your tank. Yeah, yeah. 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 What makes them any different to the fish that get dragged up by the billion for well, people's plates? Those, the difference is that the fish I'm doing are going to die anyhow. The fish mm. you're doing are not necessarily going to die. Well, I'm going to die anyhow. Yeah, so so are they. But yeah, but we're all going to die anyhow. But what I'm saying is, does that make the murder of the billions of them justified for a quick snack? Well, I don't know if it's a quick snack. It's a protein source. Without that source, we wouldn't be here. That's debatable. I mean, no, you, you, debatable. You, yeah, no, would, it actually we, is. We wouldn't be here because ancient man survived on protein. They didn't grow crops. They didn't know how. Well, so well, they, well, they forage for tubers and things like this as well. But yeah, let's but just say had, what you're saying is true. Food. It is true. Well, okay, let's just agree, I will agree with you. I think it was cooking food mainly that, that helped our brains grow. No, but not at all. No, they, yeah, more they calories. Man didn't cook food. Okay. Man well, ate raw well, food. well, let me just say, okay. All right, let's just say that's true. If we needed to do it back then, do we need to do it now? I, I guess the argument is, if you, if it was here on this earth to provide food for people, it still provides food for people. I think we overfish, and I would disagree. I would agree completely with stopping overfishing, but I think it's a resource that needs to be harvested. If you didn't harvest fish, let's put it that. Let's look at it from another perspective. If you did, what would happen? Fish, you would end up with fish starving because there'd be no food. Wait a second. They eat each other, don't they? Well, the ecosystem. Because when you, what, well, what's happening is they're, they're taking fundamental parts of the ecosystem, like fundamental species out of the ecosystem from overfishing, are, and then yes. it's, it's causing extinction down the line. Uh, yes, yeah, and, and, so, yes. and if people are eating tuna, they're actually killing a bunch of dolphins as well. And if you're eating a certain species of fish, they're killing a bunch of yeah, sea turtles. And a dolphin's a mammal, and it kills fish, and that, that fish kills oh, pain. No. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, talking about bi I'm talking about bycatch. Well, bycatch, bycatch so it, like, that's something that shouldn't happen. Yeah, well, it happens because of commercial fishing. That's what I'm saying, it's unavoidable. Yeah, but once going back to the original argument, if you were to leave the species on their own without a natural predator, without a, nat a natural predator, you would end up over with too so much. Do you fish. Call, would you say that we are a natural predator to the I fish? Would, well, certainly. Okay. The way that we plunder the oceans. No, don't go into the plunder side. You asked me if we were a natural predator of fish, and we are. <laughs> but if you start talking plunder, you're going in a different direction. Yeah, so do you agree with that what's natural is ethical? I think what's natural is ethical, yes. Okay. How you do it. I mean, it's, so, it's, it's, do you think you every, any, anything that's natural well, is ethical? I think we are, we are, we kill big meats and fish. Animals. Uh, as an yeah. animal would kill, kill meat and fish. Yeah. It makes us no difference. Animals kill each other, you know. Yeah, so do we. Oh, yes, should we? I'm asking if it's ethical. I'm not asking whether we do it, whether it's we're natural. Discussing ethics, we're yeah, we are. About. No, no, we're talking about the ethics of eating fish because fish feel pain and they're sentient, yeah? Well, we can get back to original so, so, But you know, sharks, they kill each other, lions kill each other, they eat each other. The animals rape each other in the wild as well, you know about that. But you don't agree with doing those things in society, yeah? No, we've, 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 we've lifted ourselves above certain animals, but... Oh, okay, many, but anyone else that's not a human, we can do what we want to them, torture them... No, I don't agree with that at all, I wouldn't... Well, where does it, what happens to the sea animals is worse than what we do to nearly any animal in the world. Well, no, I, I, there's no... There's not even any humane slaughter guidelines for sea animals, they just drag them out onto the boat, dump them on the boat, let them suffocate on top of each other, and then they just gut them and... You've got to get back to the original reason for us eating them in the first place. We don't need to do it now, that's what I'm saying. I've been vegan for eight years. Yeah, we do. For what reason? For protein? Protein. You've got country... Oh, I'll give you... Do I look like I need protein? You, well, you may not, but do you live in Mali? Do you 
live, so, do you live in near the lakes, the Rift Lakes in, in South, 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 South? You talk about yeah. tribes, people that need to fish to survive? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm talking about you sitting here in Sydney right now, looking over to this. Well, I this have every fish, so. Do you, yeah, but. I like, I like fish in my fish tank. I don't eat fish. <coughs> Very rarely, very yeah, rarely. I mean, everyone I talk to about ethics seems to only eat a little bit of animals, but it seems to be every single day, three times a day. Eat all the time. Yeah, so you eat land animals. Well, without land animals, without the land, without the beef, they, you wouldn't have them. Why would they exist? Yeah, but I mean, if I had a... Well, well, answer I mean, the question, why would they exist? Well, it's better to not why? exist than to exist in and to be grown just to be slaughtered inside of a slaughterhouse. Oh, no, well, that could yeah. be the beef. I mean, the so chickens they... Ask all the, well, ask all the cows and the sheep on the road, on the, eating grass at the moment, so would you rather not exist, or would mm -hmm. you rather have an existence that lasts maybe three years and then you slaughter it? Well, three years is a fraction of their lifespan, you know, cows live to 25. Yeah, well, even so you're slaughtering like innocent well, little babies. Well we, well, we don't slaughter innocent little babies. We may, we may kill the veal calf, and the reason we kill the veal calf is because they have to produce milk with the female calf. Without the veal, we can't get milk. Yeah. So we have to... So we don't need it. We basically don't need the milk. Well, if you don't if you don't drink milk, then you've got a real problem. Why? Milk I don't nice. drink milk. It's not you we're talking about. You're talking about. I don't general. drink milk. It, it's, it's, well, am I going to die without titty juice from a cow? Uh, you wouldn't, but there'd be a lot of people who would. Did you stop drinking milk when you were a baby, you like your mother's have milk? You been yeah. To India? Sorry. Have you been to India? I've been to India. They, they milk a lot of cows there, but it's not a necessity. It is a necessity. No, Why it's do you not. Think they don't kill them. Well, what are they? Well, Where's their protein they do from? kill them in India. Yes, no, they do. They're, the biggest le they're one of the biggest leather exporters in the world. They actually kill them off, sh off country. They export the leather out. They may well kill them. Where do you, what are they going to do with all the spent dairy what? cows that don't produce milk? They kill them all. Yeah, and what, are you doing? Yeah. What, did, what would you do if you didn't kill them? You can make cashew milk. You can make peanut milk. You can make uh, almond milk. You what can make oat countries? milk. What about countries with no cashews? What are, no almonds, no beans? No oats, no rice. The only protein they get. Is what about rice? Give me another protein other than rice. What would you use? If you lived in an Asian country, what would you eat? Rice and beans. And no protein at all? There's protein in both rice and beans. But you would, you would have people starving. No, if you, no you, not at all. If you get enough calories, my friend, if you get enough calories, you get enough protein. Uh, I don't necessarily agree because in some countries... Well, what, name one food that doesn't contain protein. protein. Name one food. Okay. Name one food. Fruits, fruits yeah, a banana's 5% protein. 5% is nothing to live on. No, if you, if you, uh, well, I'm not saying to just eat bananas. I'm just saying name one food that doesn't have protein. It all has protein. The original argument started about fish. You've moved into all kinds of things. No, because you're taking it into the health side, like we need to eat animals to survive. I'm telling you that's a load of nonsense. I, I said, I said people in certain countries need to get protein from somewhere. Well, well, it, well that doesn't necessarily mean factory farming animals and butchering them, but you right here, I'm asking you why you eat meat. Because I, I, I eat meat because I've always eaten meat. Eat you, are you eating it to survive? Are you eating it because you need it? If you don't have meat, no, you will die. It's a tradition. You've always eaten meat. Okay, well, slavery was a tradition. Racism is a tradition. I don't yeah, care what's traditional. We want to know what's ethical, what's moral. Mankind, I go back to my original argument, mankind would not be here if we didn't. If we, didn't we wouldn't be here if we didn't rape and pillage each other either because... Yeah, no, no, no. Em empires yeah, conquering other empires. Yeah, You're probably a product of uh, tribes raping each other at some stage, but that doesn't mean that rape is therefore morally justified. I'm saying murder's probably been. Um, you can't keep to your argument. Don't go off into rapes and all that. Stuff. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I am, I'm talking about ethic, unethical things well, being part of history, being part of um, how we got here to civilization. So is war. That doesn't mean war should continue. But we, we had, in order to survive... We had to eat animals. We had to eat each other at some stages as well. We had to cannibalise each other. No, we have had to cannibalise each other to survive. Yeah. You, you know that, but for the sake of this argument, you would avoid that, but we have had to eat each other to survive. You're not winning your argument with me. Well, we have had to do that. I'm saying it's not ethical to do that now when we don't need to. Right now, I can go get a vegan burger or I could cut your head off and eat you. Right now, you could go get a vegan burger or you could, you could cut a chicken's head off and eat the chicken. 100 years ago, you couldn't cut a vegan Well, it's not 100 years ago. Luckily, it's right now when we're having this debate so right now on the street. Why have you all of a sudden and people like you decided that it's wrong for us to do things we've been doing? Because torturing, you believe animals can suffer? I think certain animals can suffer, yes. Well, well, well okay. Dog, do you I believe a, a, cat, a, a, be cruel to a dog? Or a cat why not? Or a well, what if I wanted to eat the dog? Huh? What if I wanted to eat the dog? Well, if you want to eat the dog because you had no choice, you'd eat the dog. Oh, well, I, no, I've got a choice right now between a vegan burger and a dog. I choose the dog because I want it. It's traditional. I like the taste of dog right. meat. I need protein. All of the arguments that you use, I want to well, eat you're the dog. You're talking about us and here. You're not talking about people who eat dogs. No, no, no. What's the difference dogs? between a dog and a cow? See, this is where you're tripping over. And this is why I talk oh, to no, people no, about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, 
A dog has got intelligence. A cow hasn't got intelligence. A cow doesn't have intelligence. A dog serves. Science isn't on your side, brother. A cow doesn't, a cow doesn't a have cow intelligence. To mankind is food. Who says? Well, Human think. supremacists? Huh? Like people, you dictate what the cow's here for and what the dog's here for. Well, no, the dog does that. Dog, no, no, dog no. Develops no. a relationship with man. You, the cow didn't develop a, cow, a relationship with man. Well, what are you saying? Farmers don't have a relationship with cows, or sanctuary people in a sanctuary don't have well, a relationship. With, in India, they don't have. Well, a, they in they India, there's no cow. relationship with cows. Well, cow is a sacred animal in India. Well, you just said man doesn't have a relationship with cows. It doesn't mean it has a relationship with it. They don't. No. Sleep in well, the it doesn't matter. What I want to know is, are they? Man. They don't guard man. They don't uh, feed, help feed man with hunting. They don't do any of those things. I want to know if the animal is aware of themselves and aware of their suffering that they they feel. Uh, certainly, be a, a, a cow may. Are well you be. against torturing a cow? You don't torture a cow. You no, no. I'm asking. That's not what I ask. Whether you do or whether you don't. I say, are you against it morally? If I was to torture a cow. If it came between me. me no, 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 no. No, no. That's not the no, question. No, no. You've got to ask that. You can't answer. Would you question. be against me uh, without you there? Me torturing a cow for no apparent reason, just torturing them. We don't torture cows. No, no. I'm not. That's not. You're, you're asking the question with the question. Do we kill are you cows against? Food? Yes. Do are you against? Them? No. Would you be against me torturing a cow? Yeah, sure. Okay, why, if the cow doesn't matter morally? If they have no intelligence, who cares? Because they just see it as a stupid act. No, what, but, but if they don't matter morally, why would you care if I just tortured a cow? Because that, what you're doing is, is immoral. Wait, wait a second. So what I'm doing is immoral if I just torture a cow, but when you pay for them to go into a slaughterhouse where they have their throats slashed open, is not, is not immoral. It's really different between... You know there is a difference. Animals are tortured in slaughterhouses you if you haven't seen lately. Difference between you, you know we've got rules against stuff like that. You know that. You just Hey, activists leave cameras in slaughterhouses all the time. I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. I've seen a lot of suffering in slaughterhouses. You're kidding yourself if you don't think if torture talk, happens in animal talk agriculture. About torture and people go cutting out, like cutting off people's legs and cutting no, off. No, no, no. Cows. Cows are tortured in the dairy industry. They have their horns cut off. That I don't want to discuss it with you anymore. Okay. We talked about fish feel pain. They probably do. You try, I just feel like you, you're trying to justify something you know is wrong. That's no, you're all. trying to justify something you think is right. No, no, no. I don't have to justify my behaviour. I'm no, not yes, causing this up. I'm sorry, you do. No, I, I'm here. not cutting animals' heads off though. No, no, but you're I, I'm asking people, people to stop. Pain. I'm trying exactly. to stop people from causing exactly. suffering to you're, innocent you're beings. You're trying so to change people who've been if doing it was the same you, thing for thousands, if not millions of years. I don't care, they've been raping and killing each other for the well, same amount of time. What gives you the right to come to me and say... Well, what gives wrong? you the right to abuse animals? Because we've always done it. You're changing. So what? You're Met, the change. Rape has always happened. We've always yeah. done it. I'm going to go rape and kill and murder. Well, off you go then. You get no. thrown in jail. You don't get that food. Well, exactly. So animals aren't even protected by laws. That's yes, how much... they are they, protected by laws. Not, no, 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 no. You can you know treat are. an animal... Animals are property. What do you think we got the RSPCA for? What do you think we're all these things? RSPCA, uh, they put their stamp of approval on chopped up animal bodies. I think you need Is that help with someone who hasn't got to go. Like okay, I. okay, that's cool. Uh, but I, I also think that you have no right to inflict your you views have, on other people. You have no right to inflict your no, views no, no, on no, innocent I animals. No, you do. You, 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 no, are, no, no, you have no right to abuse I animals. I haven't inflicted anything on you. No. You're doing the Had a conversation, but now it's clear that you don't view animals as moral. That's, that's, uh, my, that's my privilege. Yeah. You, 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 you to treat them with your... contempt. I have, have I said to you, I think you should change your views? Huh? Have I changed No, but once? you can have Hold your on, views. Have I said it to you once? You need to change your views. Once. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't, you know why? Because I don't interfere with your life like you try to interfere with everybody Well, you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle. That's all I want to tell you. You abuse animals through your lifestyle. And uh, you can have that view, but it's an immoral one. Well, if you don't want to change views on animals, then you can just, you know, be a conscious animal abuser. Very difficult. It's almost like he kept sliding away from questions and things. I think he knew where they were going. All right, so there you have it. That was interesting, like, little social experiment there that you can do with a TV, a little battery, some footage, and a sign. Just walk up and down and talk to people. Got in some, some good debates. Met an amazing sea life activist there. And, uh, you know, it's a good little way to educate people. Just planting that seed is so important. Fish feel pain. It's such a small, you know, phrase, such a simple phrase, but it's it's really the implications of that phrase. If fish feel pain, you shouldn't be causing them pain and suffering. They're self-aware. They should have, they should be protected. They, they should be protected with rights. So that's a theme we're gonna be running here. Fish should be protected with, you know, rights. Rights protecting their life and uh, making sure they're not being dragged out the ocean by the trillions. So look at that beautiful backdrop behind us. Tomorrow we've got something interesting planned and going to 
a hor horrific place for sea animals, but we'll have to wait and see what it is. Can I just look at the hooks? I want the one that's gonna that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Just gonna have a look here. Prisoner. Massive tuna, eh? It's interesting is people will pay to go and see these animals, but they'll then go into a restaurant and pay for other sea animals to be murdered. 